Warning, it's important that before performing this or any other safety or service procedure on any Heil product that the person performing the work has both read and firmly understands the parts and service manual as well as the product operator's manual, including the detailed safety instructions that accompany this vehicle. It's up to you to ensure safe operations and processes. You cannot outsource safety. If there is anything that's unclear or that you don't understand, do not attempt to operate the vehicle or perform any of the service or maintenance tasks called out in this video. Quarantine the area, walk away from the vehicle, and contact your supervisor immediately for clarification. It is also important to ensure you wear the appropriate personal protective equipment, hereafter referred to as PPE, prior to beginning this or any other service or maintenance procedure. This video is provided for informational purposes only and is not intended to be a comprehensive guide in any fashion. This video is not a substitute for proper training, qualification, and experience. Heil makes no warranty, guarantee, or promise by virtue of this video or the information herein. Please see applicable Heil product warranty statements. Please consult your workplace safety policies and relevant operator and service manuals. This video is intended to inform experienced technicians of generalized conditions that may occur on some units and to provide information that could assist in proper servicing of a unit. It is solely up to the technician to ensure the safety of the workplace and work process. Always watch the video in its entirety before beginning any service operation. Hey, I'm Travis Wallen, the service guru here at Isle Environmental in beautiful Fort Payne, Alabama. Thanks for joining me at the Service Shack. Today we're going to show you how to calibrate the automated lift arm on a high revamp electric automated side loader. The calibration process is necessary for scenarios such as having recently adjusted the chain on the lift or replacing the lift arm or one of its components such as motor, gearbox, or the encoder. Warning: You should only perform this calibration if you have been properly trained on this process. This video does not serve as such training. If you do not perform this procedure safely and correctly, you could be injured and damage to the truck chassis and body can occur. Contact Heil Technical Services at 866-310-4345 if you need help with calibration. To begin, once you have confirmed that the unit is in an area without surrounding or overhead obstructions, verify that the lift arm is fully lowered and retracted to the stowed position. Next, ensure that the chassis gear is in neutral position, parking brake applied and holding, and the chassis key switch is turned to the own position. Then pull the cab's red e-stop button to the up position and press the red button on the joystick to enable collection mode. Next, press the config button on the display touchscreen. Press the login button on the display and enter the user ID and password to enter the truck into maintenance mode. Once in maintenance mode, press the config button, press the truck icon button to access the options for the truck, and make sure that the factory mode box is checked. Next, select config, press the arm icon to access the options for the lift arm, and modify the arm's in end position to zero. To do this, press the end position box under the end column, change the value to zero, and select OK. Next, you will need to modify the arm's down end position to zero. To do this, press the end position box under the down column, change the value to zero, and select OK. The next step must be done slowly and carefully as possible. If the joystick is used in full motion, the lift arm could slam into the down stop and cause damage, so proceed with caution. Using the joystick, slowly lower and retract the lift in and down so that it is resting on the down pad. Next, press the config button, press the motor icon to access the motor options, and modify the up-down position to 100. To do this, press the drop-down menu, select up-down, then touch the value to access it. Set the value to 100 and select the check mark. Next, you will need to modify the in-out position to 100. To do this, press the drop-down menu, select in-out, then touch the value to access it. Set the value to 100 and select the check mark. Now that the lift down and lift in encoders have been zeroed out, we can begin the calibration process. 
To begin, press the Config button and select the Calibration icon to access Calibration screen. Select Arm Open Close, press the Enable icon and firmly grip the joystick to enable the Operator Presence function to start the auto calibration. The display will provide progress updates during the calibration of the lift arm's open and close functions. Note, you must continue to hold the joystick to keep the operator presence feature enabled and allow the auto calibration to run. If you must let go of the joystick, you can grab it again to resume the auto calibration. If the calibration procedure is interrupted accidentally or stopped inadvertently by a power interruption, the calibration procedure must be started over and completed in its entirety to ensure the lift calibration is completed correctly. When the display screen's progress bar shows the calibration done message, select the arm up down, press the enable icon and firmly grip the joystick to start the auto calibration process for the lift arm's up down functions. When the progress bar on the display screen shows the calibration done message, Select the arm in out, press the enable icon, and once again firmly grip the joystick to start the auto calibration process for the lift arms in and out functions. Once the display screen's progress bar shows the calibration done message again, press the home button and slowly cycle the lift arms out, close, up, down, open, and in functions. Ensure the lift is not hitting any other components while slowly testing out the complete dump cycle. Adjustment may also be needed if you observe the following. If the lift arm hits the downstop pad when fully lowered, you will need to navigate back to the lift arm's option screen and increase the value in the in position box under the down column to stop the lift sooner. If the lift arm stops too far short of the downstop, you will need to decrease this value. The ideal stopping point of the lift arm is about a quarter of an inch to three-eighths of an inch above the down stop pad. If the lift arm encounters any interference during the lift arm's in or out functions or the grabber's open or close functions, you will need to navigate back to the lift arm's option screen and increase or decrease the value in the in position box under the in out column to stop the lift sooner or increase or decrease the value in the in position box under the open close column to adjust the grabbers. If the three endpoints of the grabbers are not aligned when closed, you will need to navigate back to the lift arms option screen and adjust the value in the end position box under the closed column to align the grabbers endpoints while closed. After making final adjustments and confirming that the lift is not hitting any other components, try running the lift at full speed. If everything operates as expected, Press the Config button on the display's touchscreen, then select the Log In button on the display and select the Log Out button to remove the truck from maintenance mode. An additional thing to note regarding the factory mode option is that you can leave this setting enabled if you prefer your position values to show as millimeter distance instead of showing as a position of percentage from zero to 100%. Note, whether factory mode is selected or not, the percentage symbol will remain next to the value. If you prefer percentage displayed for your position values, press the config button, press the truck icon to access options for the truck, and uncheck the box labeled factory mode. Press the home button when finished and return the unit to service. That does it. Now you know how to calibrate the lift arm on the Heil Revamp EASL. I hope this video has helped you gain understanding of this important process. But if you still have questions, contact Heil Technical Support at 866-310-4345. Remember, we're here to help in any way we can. So be safe out there, and we'll see you next time here at the Service Shack.